It is about, what time is it right now? Got the car going, got the sirens going, got some very gloomy, but like, I don't know what, how to explain it, weather going on. It is Saturday. I usually vlog on Sunday, but I am doing my toenails right now. So I thought I would just have a little chit chat with you guys while I'm doing this because why not? And then we'll continue the vlog tomorrow. We'll continue it into tomorrow. I'm gonna just do some editing after this. I have dishes that I gotta do. My mom keeps bringing it up. So I'm gonna get those dishes done. I've been hanging with my mom a little, hanging with the dogs, having a chill, relaxing Saturday after some fun I had throughout the week. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Santa, tell me. which I don't usually, on this new editing schedule, indulge in often. So celebrating some birthdays safely and doing some shooting, camera, and uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave you guys on a little time lapse of me painting my nails. I think I'm going to do, it's hard to see on the camera. I'll probably have to turn on the main room light, although it is very yellow. Oh, it's actually very white. It's this neon green color. I'm really into it all year round. I got it at Forever 21, I think, RIP. Or no, I got this at Urban Outfitters in Canada, if you guys have that, or I think it's maybe in the States as well. Cabana Fever, it's just this lime green color. And then I just do a high shine, random high shine coat on top of it. So I will probably do these ones on my fingernails and toenails because I filed them yesterday and that was my plan. And then I'm just gonna edit away on the last little bit of this Salad Gold Sunday video and then get that up for tomorrow. Super exciting again. this working on our timing that we're doing but I haven't even looked at my hair I feel very very progressive and productive after the last few days and the last week doing my thing and really focusing on but then now finding balance spending time and reconnecting with friends a little bit again safely so life is great um, reminding everybody that what we think about we bring about and yeah again to mention to sneak in here I do have a TikTok channel you can find me on their salad gold the zero instead of an o and the gold there salad gold with the zero instead of the o <laughs> you can find me on there and i talk about manifesting manifestation the law of attraction all about that and how that and reading the secret the books the secret and the power of now really changed my life for anybody that heard me talk a little bit about that in my first ever first ever video which seems like yesterday of me talking for ages about myself and how in the get to know me video the second video actually video two where I talk about how those things changed my life so if any of you guys for any of you who wanted to know more about that I will link this video down below <laughs> does this auto zoom thing I'm trying to figure out but oh no it's not it's just me touching the button Learning how to use a camera, a vlogging camera 101. Anyway, so Manifestation 101, I started a series on there and it seems to be really hitting off as people. We are in a, there's more science behind this, but we are right now, all of us on an incline, a steady upward incline, all of us individually. We're awakening to new things and new realizations about ourselves and the world around us. We're growing internally in ourselves, but in a culture that's also growing all around us, so, and changing, so this is a very progressive time and 
it's important to really understand what you're going through and navigate through these times the best you can. So I started a manifestation channel on there and I've started to talk a little more personal. I'm again connecting this and that because I feel these two could really play and work off each other and I wouldn't be posting the same content on both. I'd be posting where you could go back and forth and understand like a little story if you put it together. So. That's the idea, that's what we're going towards. It might not make sense now, but it will in the upcoming videos. So like this video if you'd like to join along on the journey. Like this video if you like it so far. Subscribe down below as well for more me and a fresh new video every Thursday. And then as well as these Salad Gold Sunday videos that I've started vlogging because who doesn't like a vlog? I have so much to share with you guys and talk about and I'm learning as I go and living on and doing my thing. It is Mom, what day Hanukkah is it? What night of Hanukkah is it? It is the second night of Hanukkah. <laughs> We're in the dark here. And we usually... Uh, sorry. Thursday, Friday. It's third night. Third night of Hanukkah. Oh, Vlognica. <laughs> Did you want me to light the candles and sing? Do you usually do it right third now? Night of, well, when the sun goes down, but it's... Is that right now? Sunset this evening. Well, we can do it. You can't get me in the... Do you hear her? You can get my voice. You can watch the candles as I light them. But you cannot. <laughs> she is saying in the background she is clearly not ready for her time to shine, although she's already shining. Anyway, this is the little Hanukkah ceremony that we do. Keep watching if you're into it. Here you go, guys. Set up here. It looks really nice, Mom. Of course, daughter. I love you. I love you. Look how nice it looks. And we have our little Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. It's Live nice. the life you have imagined. That's manifestation right there. Back in the bedroom, the office, chill space, the hangout spot. But now, doing a little workout. I gotta move my body. I try as much as possible during the day to do stretches wherever I can. The classic hair tuck, gotta do it. Dancing, but twisting around, shaking my body, whatever it is to get our heart rates up. Guys, we're indoors so much more now, so much more often now that it's gotten colder, now that it's gotten darker earlier. I'm sitting inside, moving around when I can, but predominantly sitting inside for most of the day, unless I'm shopping, taking a walk. I try to get fresh air as much as I can, but we gotta move around. We gotta keep our bodies active. That muscle memory, of course, it's gonna remember, but we wanna be stretching and keeping that memory going, right? So if you have some plates at home, some light weights, you can also get them online for very, very cheap. I have a couple that I found a few years ago, cleaned them off, and I've had them since to do home workout stuff when I want to. I often use plates to do some basic opening up, some fly exercises with the arms. I use them as lightweight. I also have a resistance band, as you guys know, or you know now, but if you haven't seen my previous Gymshark haul, Gymshark has some great resistance bands that you can grab and add to the difficulty of a workout. Bands are great for a number of different things. Stretches, adding that extra little bit of difficulty and tension to any workout. So it's great. Go-to exercises for me, as you guys can see, are squats. Fairly easy arm lifting and motion movements that will just get your muscles stretched, limbered up. And these squatting exercises and arm opening fly exercises, the very basic ones that you can do that will get as many muscles as possible at once moving and activated so our squats again that's working all of the leg that's working the glutes 
and then the arm flies that's working the back the shoulders the arms all of it you can add bicep tricep whatever exercises you feel like doing just a couple a couple minutes an hour whatever it is you want to do some endorphins i'm telling you that and you will feel the magic afterwards i promise you Dollarama yesterday. The decorations there are just killing. Like, look at this cute tree I found. Ah! So I'm gonna pop this guy here, I think. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh my god. I love that. Okay. I got some of these. This isn't a decoration, obviously, but it's just like super useful and pretty. They're these little shelf stackable storage containers i think i'm gonna put either makeup which i don't have much of but more organizational stuff because i really like this sort of organizational stuff you can use it for pencil crayons art supplies whatever it is and they're just stackable so i'm thinking of developing and creating my own little more of my own little storage unit going on situation in my room because i'm just killing it with that lately i've been loving all of the storage stuff storage strategies so helpful being organized for finding your things when you need them later so love that more decoration stuff though look at this tree oh my god i love it so much sparkly now but I think I'll just pop this one like on the other side Can't really see it. they're so cute adorable okay they also have these Harry Potter Pez dispensers this is Ron oh my god they had I picked up my friends as little gifts I got them each a Harry Potter Pez but they had Ron, Hermione, and Harry at the store, so I had to get all three. These are so cute. But yeah, this is just quick decorating. I was gonna put trees on both sides, but I think both trees look good over there. I could switch this one and put it here, but then you can't even really see it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I like both of them on this side. I'm just gonna leave them there. I think they look super cute. So. I'm in here minding my business and I see a track. Fucking, is that what it's called? Like, you can see the extensions coming out, guys. So, I, just a few days ago, the girl gang got together. Super, super cute and fun. And intro session to a girl group that we're starting, which is really, really fun. Really, really exciting. And one of my great friends, Tay, she got, ironic, not ironically, funny enough, she got, she had a couple Manic Panic bottles, the, the same the same product but colors of the product that I just used to tone my hair and she picked them up thinking they were thinking they were hair wax kind of dyes because she has dark hair so she thought that she didn't need to bleach or do anything it was just kind of like a semi-permanent temporary thing that would show up over your natural hair but no so <laughs> these two colors here and these ones I have been seeing at the store and my eye has been going to this hot pink, this light, but my eyes have been going towards these darker colors. I don't know how it will look though. I'm trying to figure out an on girls night. Tay and all the girls were gonna do my hair and we we're gonna cut my extensions out. And now that I'm seeing a track, you know, I needed a moment a couple nights ago, but now that I'm seeing it, I think I am ready to just cut this out myself. So, if not tonight, because I still want to just work on a little bit of other things for the night editing and then just have some chill time, maybe I should just trim my hair I wanted to do. I had some bangs in mind because of the hair that's going on. Maybe if I shape that up a little bit and then I can actually wear my natural hair and maybe also even fuck around <laughs> with these colors because I am so, so into experimenting right now, and I've been wanting this one. I have been wanting to try this one. And also that same, that same nail polish, that same nail polish that you guys would have just seen me paint on my toenails. I painted on my fingernails. I've been redoing my toenails and my fingernails. I'll show you my toes in a bit, but I'm fucking loving this color. <laughs> My toes look so cute, that was ugly. But yeah, I think I have attachment issues. I think it could be really pretty to tie in this braid somehow, but I've had it for so long and I'm 
starting to get super indecisive and I want to make moves because I love the feeling of natural hair and I've had these extensions in for a while now so it might be time to go and time to time to just fuck with my natural hair again because you know maybe I'll get some curls back I don't know what will happen but I've been like slicked back in a bun like I think I need to just rock with my hair <laughs> not like that but we're getting it together we will see what happens I love you guys infinity always and I hope that everybody is doing great and feeling great again if you were into manifestation or the law of attraction and you know, getting your mind into that state of ascending and abundance. Check out my TikTok that I started. You can find me on TikTok at Salad Gold, but the O is a zero. Salad Gold with the O in the gold as a zero. I love you, infinity, and always. And I have so much to talk about, but I'm making some important hair decisions right now. So the next time you see me, I might have pink hair. We don't know. I do have wigs too that I can play with in my hair short though. Something about this braid I feel like I won't be attached to. It's been my security for some time, I guess. It's been fun pretending to have long hair. <laughs> but I think it should probably come out <laughs> because Tay made fun of me too, so. Love you guys. And I will, I will see you on Sunday. Everybody, right now, I hope that everybody is doing what they are most happy doing because you have to feel fulfilled. The key to feeling fulfilled is, and don't think there's any rush to getting there because sometimes, I mean, all of the time, you think about how good things could be potentially. So you're attaching yourself, we are attaching ourselves to perceived outcomes and attachment can often lead to anxiety about an outcome that you get yourself invested into without even knowing what the universe has in store for you you know what i mean or does that make i hope that makes some sense to you guys but as long as you are in the mindset to attract whatever it is is meant for you the better you want to be open to any possible outcome you are and can only be in control of your own thoughts feelings actions reactions emotions whatever it is so detach yourself let's detach ourselves from any perceived outcomes many of us i know i am for sure are still getting to know myself so let's work on the internal rather than projecting anything external or perceiving anything wholeheartedly that we don't know is the outcome yet you know remain open and accepting and that's when you will get all that is coming because you are in that open all accepting mind state so yeah i love you guys and these are just some things that have helped me lately i have been meaning to rewatch the secret which i usually do on netflix still on Netflix I believe I keep seeing it in the requested because I watch it so much but re-watching that just for a refresh because in times like this where we're alone a lot of the time and it's just social media that we have to look on or connect with people we can think ourselves into different mindsets and then let that run faster than we physically are you know so let's just breathe and appreciate this moment let's do all we can in this moment for ourselves and keep progressing because we are worth it and everything will be great a beautiful holiday season a happy hanukkah to mine and all of our families out there early christmas sending love always and understanding and if you want to check out that tiktok again salad gold with a zero instead of an o in the gold let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. I'm trying, I'm experimenting, and there's so much of life to share, and it's beautiful. And remember to stretch when you can. And that's me reminding myself because I don't stretch enough. I know that. Get your sleep because it's important, and do what makes you feel most alive. <laughs> I love you guys, infinity and always, and I will see you soon.
Until then, stay gold, stay beautiful, and I will see you soon.